Good morning and welcome to Sewing Street. I'm John Cole Morgan and I'm so pleased to have you with me this morning. Um, bit of difficult times at the moment, so we've got the lovely Joe about three and a half metres away from me over there. Um, we are all antibacterialized and everything's been wiped down, sewing machine all wiped and cleaned, all ready to go. Just making sure everybody's nice and safe. Hope you're doing the same at home. Extraordinary time, so stay in and sew. That's the best advice we have for you at the moment. And today we've got some amazing products to help you do that. If you haven't shopped with us before, the website is www.sewingstreet.com. Otherwise you can call our UK based call center, which is 0800 001 4433. No matter how many times I say that, I always have to glance at the preview screen just in case I get the number wrong. <laughs> there we go, we've got a lovely slide popping in there for you. We've got a one day P&P, so if you buy a product in the first hour or you see something later on that's repeated, you're only going to pay the one postage and packaging, and that's either on the website or through the call centre. Um, you just tell them this is your second order and they'll get that one day P&P ready through for you. And because you're here with us for the first show, you're going to be able to look at our amazing early bird special. And the early bird is pretty much as it sounds, the early bird catches the worm. So our early birds this morning are going to get these fabulous Gutemann threads. We've got five Gutemann threads as well as a storage box for 27 different um, threads on it. So I'm going to just move these all together so you can see just how well they all slot in. And there you've got your five Gutemann threads and we've got the lovely Joe running back and forth making sure we can get our cameras to zoom in. So you've got all our Gutemann threads that can go there and space for 22 more. And this box with these five assorted polyester threads are five, four pounds 99, less than a fiver. Now when, the last time I bought these Gutemann threads they were about one pound 80 each. So you've got the box, five of these, and you're paying less than five pounds for them. We have had this on before, but we want to make sure that all of these, everybody who needs them and wants them, you can enjoy them. And as far as I'm aware, you can multi-buy these, can't you, Joe? You can. So if you need to buy more than one, you're most welcome. Enjoy the sale while it's on. Because once it's gone, it's gone. We're not able to get it again. So do have a little look at that. I'll refer these to, to refer to these throughout the show. But just make sure we haven't got that many left of them. So do enjoy those while you can. Now, one of the products that we've had in the past. I'm not going to tell you everything about it now, but we do want to let you know. There's a bit of a keep you involved. Oh. Everyone knows that sound? It is the June Taylor Quilt Basting Spray. This is on the website at the moment. We're going to talk about this at 10 o'clock. But because you're the early birds, we wanted you to know that it's on the website. You want to have a little look. It's there. It's all available. And just if you are using it and you do buy it, well ventilated room. So make sure, get that in your basket. It's the one day P&P. So if you've got the two of those together, you're only paying the postage once. So just thought I'd leave you a bit of a note that that's coming up later. But the first thing we're going to do, which I'm incredibly excited about, about is the crazy grid, the crazy grids, the, the creative grids. This is the problem. I get something wrong in my head once and I go all tongue twisted. Creative grids have made this non-slip scrap crazy six inch ruler template and it's amazing so I, yes i had to do a couple of demos for it and they said i'll oh, make one or two of them i could not stop it is so addictive and what it does is you come with four of these different rulers so that's your you'll see there it says c you can see there's your c ruler and then just above that over there you've got your b uh, d ruler that's the d ruler there and then you've got your big triangle there, which is your A ruler, but you've also got A and E, so that's the one that goes there. And then you've got your B ruler, which goes in on that side, and all together that makes a lovely big square. So I'm going to show you how this all works now, because literally they said make four or five blocks, and I made nine, and then I made... And I made two wrong, so I've got a tip for you if you buy this and you do what I did. I'm going to show you what difference is with that. But I just could not stop making them. Look, talk about having a nice scrappy quilt and all these amazing fabrics we've got available on the website as well. So if you see something that you like, we've got lots of amazing bundles. Have a little check out for that. So the first thing you do with this, I'm going to show you what, you did, what I did wrong. When you have your fabric, uh, I'm going to grab two here. If you're cutting them and you do what I do and you like to put as many layers on as you possibly can, 
you fold your fabric. So you've got the little fold, you fold the fabric, you put it down, and you cut it out. But when you're cutting it out, that's the right way round. That's the wrong way round. So, my only advice to you is, if you've done that, or you do that, just make sure you've got four pieces, because you can just make the same block the other way around. It is identically easy to do. You're just simply sewing them the other way around. Um, and, I, I, you know, I don't think many people would actually be able to tell the difference. With all the pin cushions we have in here, I found that one, and I'm going to use that one. So let me show you where I did it wrong. Well, first of all, I'm going to put these two out. So these are the same fabrics. I think we're on the overhead now. So this is done correctly, and this is done incorrectly. So all you can see, it works really well. All it is is the mirror image of them. So it just creates a little bit of a spontaneity on them. So here's another one, incorrect. Well, allegedly incorrect. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to find, there we go. And there's one that's the right way around. So you can see the only things that are different is your triangles point together. So when you're laying this out, of course, I'd made a few of these blocks before I realized my error because I get very excited. I cut everything out. So we're going to play a little game now where we're going to recognize which ones are wrong and which ones are right. So that one there, oh, I'm too far out the camera. So this one we know is right. This one we know is wrong because that little square goes the other way. Perhaps showing it on the darkest fabric I have is not the best way. So you can see that one there is right, but that one there is wrong. But now, can you tell the difference? Does it matter? And what I liked about it was, even though I cut them the wrong way around, it still made such an interesting quilt and such an interesting... This is probably... Um, let me work out how big this is. So this is 18 and a half inches. I don't know why I did that. It's a six and a half inch ruler. It would have been three times six and a half if I'd used my brain. And it's just a really fun project to do. One thing I would say is try and get some really lovely contrasting fabrics because they work really, really well. So this is a bundle that we've got on the, kit, uh, the show later today. This is a really fun way of being able to show your fabric. And then remember I said to you that the A block there has an E option. This is with the E option. You can see you can just put a little hint of fabric in there. And the reason I did that was, and of course I'm going to try and get it on number, maybe I get it up here and you can see it from here. We're going into the overhead now. What I loved about this is that word wildflower there matched my pink perfectly. So that was why I wanted to put that piece of fabric in there. Now, the only reason I tell you that is anybody who does patchwork, we all have that fabric that we think, oh, I can fussy cut that, oh, I can get that word in, and we get all excited about being able to include it. With this, you still can. Because although it's scrappy, we're all going to place our fabric the way that it works. You see, we're going to have a little black dot there with a little bit of yellow, the same yellow as that. We've got to, because our little brains sometimes just can't bear the thought of doing anything purely scrappy. But the great thing with the contrast, high contrast colours, is that when you then put these into a display, so they're the back of the grid, if we can go onto the overhead now, the back of the grid gives you a suggestion of how to lay your fabric out. So you can see that one there tells you the triangle should go that way. And the next one along tells you that the triangle should go that way. And the next one along, t or going down to the bottom, tells you the triangle should go that way. And this one, your triangle should go that way. And it just creates this really lovely pattern and design. And even though your colors are all in, you know, your colors are all touching, it still works really well. And in a way, it creates the secondary color, the secondary pattern, because you can see you've got the secondary pattern all the way. So it's a really fun project to do. And although they call it scrappy, I would buy fabric because I'm just that person. I would want to make sure I used all the same yardage. And maybe what I did was I used an alternate scrappy bit for the ease. And I used that from a different line of fabric all the way along. Because sometimes when you do a project, you do only have a little scrap bundle of fabrics left over. And then when you cut them, you don't need a big square, a big triangle for it. You just snip those off and they work perfectly. 
So you've got a really nice way of using up scrap fabric while being able to use the same fabric the whole way along and then you create all these secondary movements throughout the quilt. So I've really, really enjoyed doing this project and I literally, as I said, could not stop. I just kept making them and making them and making them and making them. <laughs> but the good thing is, is that again, what I did here was I used one of our amazing Fat Quarter Bundle kits. Um, I think this one is called FPUU03. Can't remember what it's called, sorry. We'll go to that later. But what you can do here is what you, you can use two fabrics doing the same, bit, same block. And I did two fabrics here. If you just wanted to use two, you can see just as well. It's got all the same vivaciousness and it's so vivid. But all you've done is you've just used two fabrics. So it's a completely different look. And here you can use two fabrics, maybe you use three fabrics. You obviously can't use one fabric, uh, <laughs> but it's just such a nice way of not only using up scraps that you haven't used before, but it's also just a fun way that you can make a project and if your quarter inch seam isn't correct, or you're a little bit nervous about your quarter inch and you think it's not very good, it's a nice way of being able to play with the fabric because you've got no seams to meet. And there's nothing to meet, there's no, you can't really get it wrong because it's scrappy and it's meant to be scrappy. And if I slide this down a little bit, you'll be able to see them all. So if it doesn't meet, mat, match or meet, it doesn't matter because it still looks so fun and exciting. So I've really enjoyed these rulers. I'm hoping everybody else will as well. The price of them is $22.99. Price is $22.99, but with, not only with all the Creative Grid rulers do you get the rulers, you get this amazing instruction kit. And there are loads of different options. They tell you how to cut them apart, so that tells you how, if you've got a six inch strip, how to cut them apart. This tells you how to actually fold, them, um, fold the fabric and actually sew it all together. That shows you how to cut it out and which way your grain should go. It's just a really clever project. And then, Let's say, for example, you wanted to do something totally different. They've even got alternate shapes that you can make here. So it's a really, really lovely product. And it shows you how to cut those out as well if you're wanting to do different, different shapes. So with, as always, Creative Grids have thought of everything, put it on a little information sheet, and that comes free with the rulers. So I think that's a really good way that Creative Grids have always done these. So now maybe I should just show you how this works. Um, the, th the first thing I found was that, not tough, but it just takes a little bit of time and I think you need to be just very cautious of how you're cutting these because it is a bit of an odd angle to be cutting at and some people struggle with rotary cutting at the best of time. So I'm just going to show you exactly how I've done this. So what I've done is, I've, all I've done is I've lined my fabric up I've got my Creative Grids ruler, the larger one, six and a half inches. And all I've done is I've lined my rulers up with a bit of space on, on all four sides of each shape. The reason I've done that is that I'm going to cut them and make sure I've got a nice clean edge. If you're comfortable with your cutting and you wanted to, you can push the ruler right up to the edge there. You can see that's where I'm cutting it, but you can push the ruler right up to that straight edge. And this one right up to that straight edge. But you'll get, as you get more confident with it, you'll be able to then pick that technique up and feel more confident doing it. I felt confident, but I just thought, nope, I'm doing this, it's for telly. I'm gonna take my time. I'd rather cut those two extra seams, make sure that I get it accurate. Because the other thing is, is then if you get this slightly off, your block may be slightly smaller, slightly larger, then you've got to square the blocks up at the end. But I did that too, so you can see, I can show you how to fix that as well because that is another amazing Creative Grids product, is this Tropology Squaring Ruler. So I'm going to show you how to use that as well. Really lovely products they come from with Creative Grids. And I don't get any money for saying that. I'm telling you that because they are. So now what I've done is I've cut these in half. And I'm just going to take that to one side. Now, a rotating mat here will be incredibly helpful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line I want to start with number A because A is at the very beginning. So I can see I've got my, enough space there between A and B. I'm just going to push my B ruler out the way. 
but you notice that I left my hand on the A ruler that that didn't move. This is where I'm now going to be very grateful for my locking mechanism on my rotary cutter. So although you all know I prefer the other rotary cutter, I actually prefer this rotary cutter for this project because I think it's a bit safer. Um, I'm now getting, I'm starting, you can see my blade is off the rotary, off the fabric on the actual rotary mat. Reason being is that if you start a little bit further in, you run the risk of not catching those first few threads and then just confidently going all the way through. I have not taken the tension off this ruler at all. All I'm doing now is I'm trying not to move this fabric and I'm sliding it down, putting my B ruler back on the top of that. The reason being is that I'm about to rotate my mat and that way then it keeps it all nice and safe. Now before I rotate my mat, you saw I lifted my hand, I'm going to put my hand back on and make sure that I have not moved it at all on this line. Then I'm going to take my rotary cutter and Creative Grids have really thought of everything because what they're doing here, this is the mark that you're going to line up when you put the whole block together. And it's really important that you do cut that off because not only are you getting rid of those little bits of waste, but you've also got a nice mark to line up when you're actually going to be putting the blocks together. So then you rotate it round. And if you don't have a mat for this that rotates, that's absolutely fine. But please, I beg you, do not cut towards yourself. Do not cut in awkward positions. Walk around your table. Please, we don't want you hurting yourself with things like this. So again, check that you've not moved anything. Keep your fingers down on the ruler. Again, I'm going to start when I'm a little bit off my fabric, because that way then I know that I've got it all. And I'm going to cut as I would with a normal ruler, just gently and safely and pull that away. You can see my blade is locked on its own, which is why I love that. Sorry. Oh, I'm glad to hear we've already got some of these going to baskets. You're not going to, you're not going to regret it. So here, as I moved it over, I can see I've moved a slight fraction over there. So I'm just going to get my ruler back lined up. That will happen to you too. That's why you just keep an eye on where your ruler's going and where you are. And literally that tiny little fraction, I'm being pedantic because it's live telly, but it just helps you make sure that you've got something nice and accurate and that you haven't got anything a little bit aligned. Because also once you've cut all these, you're on the bias. So you want to make sure that you've got very little bias because otherwise that will stretch your block. So as I started cutting along and I did more of these, I noticed that it was actually easier if I cut these little corners off first, because then when I cut that line, there's less fabric to cut, and then rotate the mat back towards me, lock my blade, rotary cutters off the mat, and I cut along. Now as I cut that, and as you cut that, you will see that your fabric over here, because there's such a huge amount of fabric underneath there, will shift ever so slightly. So what I've done, you don't have to do this, but if you feel that you want it to be accurate, I notice that that moved just one cotton's breadth away. I do that, and you can see, as I slide that away, that's how much I saw it move. So you can be as accurate as that, you don't need to be. It's not going to make any difference. I'm just doing it, trying to do it correctly on the telly. Just in case people from Creative Grids are watching, they don't, don't send us any rulers because I do it wrong. So that's your A block. So what I'm going to do with the A block is I'm not going to do it for all of them. I'm going to take one of these. Let's take, let's take the pink one. So I'm going to leave that one there because I know I've cut these. So I just take them and I put them on the top of my page page, the top of my little area. So I am now going to look through my little scrappy bits and see if there's a fabric that I really like, that I think will work. And I'm going to take this flower one at the top. Come on. Oh, I'm going to take that one. I'm going to take that one. So what I'm going to do here is, I think, that would be quite nice being a little pop of colour at the top here for the number A. So I don't know how Creative Grids recommend you do this. This is how I did it, and it worked for me and my brain. And I get to use the lovely little orange scissors. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to line this up. Now, the first you've got to double check, first of all. Sorry, I'm doing this the wrong way around. First of all, you check that you've got enough fabric. So you can see you're going to cut on this line here. So you can see the white line there and you can see the white line there. There's a black line in between. 
you're going to check you've got enough fabric on that black line. So if you've got enough fabric and the angles there are correct and the angles there are correct, you just cut the little nose off to get you started. And then I turned this and I popped that back on top of the black, on top of the, the template. And then ever so slightly, I wrote, I moved the fabric towards me, but I made sure that the nose was still in line with the fabric there. And then once I've got that all lined up, rotary mat, again, incredibly important for this process. I then came back and put my fingers on it, make sure I didn't move it. Put my ruler, my pair of scissors on the line and I just literally snipped two or three threads of, two or three threads length into the, into the fabric there. And then all I did this side, I did exactly the same thing, slid this over a little bit, made sure it was nice and clean. And you can see this one a bit better because you've got the orange there. I'm putting my, my scissors through there and I'm just literally snipping a little piece off there. So that's all I've done on that. And then, this is where I'm, and I'm sure I'm doing this wrong. If somebody else has a better way of doing it, please let me know. But it works for me. This works for my brain. So all I do now is I put this, you can use any ruler you like, but I use this template simply because I know it's small enough and it'll go the whole length. So I rotate this piece of th uh, fabric that I've snipped off forward. And then I look for the, th uh, the fabric that I've cut on this side. Can you see there's that little V in the orange there? And now, because this is on the right spot, I then just lift this part of the template up, move it over, and check that I'm all lined up there, I'm all lined up there, and rotary cut it across. And this bit then is in your scrap bundle that you can then use for something else. So now I know that, let's say, I, I think we're going to do this as our pink triangle. We said that before. This is an isosceles triangle, so it is this, and it's isosceles means that it's equal sided on all sides. So it doesn't matter which corner you put it on, it's going to work because you can see I've just rotated this all the way around, but just for, we're going to assume we do it the same way. So what I'm going to do then is exactly the same thing. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm going to take this and I'm going to put the piece of fabric on there. Now I know that is my quarter inch seam line, not my stitch line. So all I'm doing now is I'm folding that little piece of fabric across, and if I look back, it hasn't folded the fabric at all. If you do that seam and you fold it a little bit there, it does not matter at all because it's just gonna be cut off anyway. So we know that's your, seat, your quarter inch line. We know that that's your quarter inch line. So we're folding that there. Now I'm moving this down by a quarter of an inch. And I'm rotating this back. And you can see if I fold on that line, the same sew line, I know that sounds really complicated. I'm hoping when I flip this back, you'll understand what I mean. So I turn that back and I've folded on that original um, stitch line. What I've done now is I've created the stitch line that you're going to sew on. Now if you get this slightly wrong, it doesn't matter because uh, I just need to move this to the correct space. Find my foot, take my shoe off. I cause great hilarity when I join Sewing Street because, shall I show them? Shall I show them? Standing for long periods of time, I have these really comfy slippers. So I've always got my slippers here and I caused much hilarity when I joined because they're like, oh my gosh, you're wearing slippers, that's brilliant. So all I'm doing now is I'm stitching on that fold line and if I paid a little more attention, oh no, I got it. I'm gonna do that again just on the end, but. Because you're gonna make the same mistake too, we all will. So what I did that first time is my stitch, oh, I didn't pay attention towards the end, my stitch came a little bit off, it really doesn't matter. So now I've done that line, I'm going to put my, you've got this dotted line on the ruler, I'm going to put that on the stitch line and I'm going to trim off the excess in the pink. Right? I should have set my ruler up, my, um, 
iron up first, shouldn't I? But I'm going to press this. Oh, you know what I love about Joe. He thinks of absolutely everything. My iron is ready to go. I just need to rotate the button. Such a good man. Perfect. I've just turned that on. So what I'm doing now, so that's if you're creating an, um, an E space into it. And you don't need to press it, but because I'm going to trim this off, I am going to press it just to make my life a little easier. And these June Taylor pressing mats are just fabulous for this type of thing. Now I'm watching, last time I did this without it heating up properly, I had water everywhere. So I'm hoping it's going to behave today. Oh, that looks pretty good. So good. Thank you so much for doing that, Joe. He thinks of everything. And the great thing is, is as you pick it up, you've got that waft of antibacterial and anti-thing. It's wonderful. So here, what I've done, of course, what could possibly go wrong on national television, it's slightly smaller. So in theory, what you would do now is you would put that on there. This would be slightly bigger and you trim it down. However, I'm going to show you how you fix it later because this is going to happen to you too. So line your edge of your template up and you go there and you get rid of that piece of fabric just to make sure that it's got the right shape and the right angle and you do that. Okay, but you can see I've done something a bit wrong there, so I'm not quite sure what, but I'm a quarter inch seam, I've lost a quarter inch. But it doesn't matter, and it's important that I make these mistakes so that you can see how you do it. Um, how much time have I got left? Okay, I've only got about four or five minutes left on the demo, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, here's one I prepared earlier. So we're going to take the purple... So all I've done is I've cut those shapes out along the way so you can see my B fits on there, my B fits there, my D's fit on there, and you can see I really did go to town cutting them out. And then number C, I cut that over there. And you can see, I, so all I'm going to do now is I'm going to make it a proper scrappy quilt. So. No matching of colours, just not having the same colours. So I'm going to put the teal. Actually, no, I'm going to put yellow. Yellow there. And then what colour should we put on the top here? Let's have a look. Let's do that one. Happy with that? Because you see, it'll freak everybody out with that because that, you know, but it doesn't freak. All right, so let's do that. We'll just do it that way, just in the solids with a pop. Don't want to, you know, he does so much. If he freaks out, we want to get it right. And the good thing is, is we know that I've cut that as quarter inch smaller. And I'm going to show you, don't worry about it because it is going to get fixed. I would like to say that I thought about making that error, but I really didn't intend to. Gosh, this has been very popular. We're down to the teens for this ruler now. So if you are interested in it, don't hang around because if it's in your basket and you haven't paid for it, it is going to possibly be taken by somebody else. So in theory, what would happen if you can flip to the overhead, if you've cut it out correctly, this is a piece that I cut earlier that was correct, you're going to line it up and you can see that will line up perfectly and that will line up perfectly. Okay, so this we know I've cut in correctly and you can see if I line that up there, it doesn't line up there. So you've got two options. You either line it up like that. I would line to the center and leave the edge out because you can trim the edge down. Or you can move it to the middle and you can play with your bias because you've got the bias here. I'm going to play with the bias because I think this fabric is such good quality, you'll be able to be able to fiddle with it. So if we can flip to camera two, Sorry, I'm just telling Joe which might be easy. You can see I have now lined the pink up with the purple on the end. And I'm going to start this by... Right, so I've caught it down. With this machine, I've got the option of keeping the needle down. And all I'm doing now is the purple is right. I'm going to yank this little bit. It sounds very vicious when I say that. And I'm going to pull that end bit of E to the edge of the purple. And I'm going to give it a gentle... I'm just gently holding it. I'm not pulling it. I'm not tagging it. I'm not distressing it. 
So I do that and I keep the edge of my purple fabric and my pink fabric with the edge of my foot and I've got my finger on this join and I've got my finger on the edge here holding it through so I'm feeding it in there and I've got my finger there but I'm letting the bias of the bottom and the top merge and I know that my bottom seam is going to have a little bit of a ripple in it it's going to have a little bit of a ripple in it and Oh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. So you can see it's almost done away with that quarter inch seam issue. So I'm going to pull my June Taylor square and block cutting mat, uh, rhyming mat back in. I'm going to set my seams. And because I want the purple to hold, I'm going to stretch this back, leaving the purple to the, I'm not pressing to the dark side but pressing so that the purple's on the bottom. Now, as you're doing this, and as I'm pressing this, you can see that there's bias everywhere. That's okay. Normally, like on this, these two pieces, you won't have an issue. You won't be pulling, you won't be stretching. And I don't advise you to do this. I'm just showing you how to potentially correct an error. And you will have a wobble in your block, and no one's going to care. So this one you can tell there's no bias on that bit, but you've got masses of bias on this side. I've just heard we only have 12 left of this ruler, so if you are interested, just don't want you to lose out. I'm sure we'll get them in again, but there's a strong chance it won't be at that price. So now what we do, now we remember we know that this is a quarter inch smaller, so I know that that's going to be smaller. And when you flop this over, you pop that in there, and you pop that there. But even though I know it's smaller, it's met there, and it's met there. So it does come out in the wash, and if you do need to do a bit of finagling with the bias, the bias is your friend at this point, it normally isn't. But again, you're gonna take a lot of pressing. You've gotta be very careful with your bias. I don't want you to have completely wonky blocks, but it really doesn't matter. And then we clear that off. Um, I can just press the, set the seams and hold this out. I might need one extra minute because I want to show you how to use the squaring ruler because this is a little bit unsquare. So if we are a bit out, you'll see that quarter inch that we were out, you can see it there. So, Creative Grids have thought of absolutely everything as always. I'm going to just pop these on my little rotary mat, get this all out of the way. <gasps> and I'm so excited I get to play with all those later on today. Pop these down here. So we've got this lovely, uh, what's it called? The Stropology Squared Ruler. Please don't fall over. So what I'm doing here is, on the ruler there are loads and loads and loads of lines. The line I'm working towards, you've got a white cross hatch in the middle there and the white cross hatch there. And you've got the white little lines on that side, you've got the white little lines on that side. So this block doesn't actually have a centerpiece. There are... Sorry? Um, so, what you're doing here... Because the block doesn't have a central line, we're going to just find... Bum, bum, bum. So normally most of these blocks are six and a half, and this is almost six and a half. Dum, dum, dum. Right, so I'm going to line it up with the six and a half line there, and you can see what I'm doing is I'm centralizing the block. So over here, I'm a little bit under the six and a half, and over there, I'm on the six and a half. Over there, I'm, I'm just over in the turquoise, and over here, I'm just under. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line this up with the, sorry, I've got my head in the way, with the pink 
right up to the pink there and I'm going to then just open my rotary cutter, put that in the slot for the six and a half line and I'm going to cut. And then over here I'm going to line this up here and take that down there. So I've made this I think a six and a quarter inch block. So everything I'm getting rid of there and everything I'm getting rid of there. I have not moved my block. So what I'm doing now is I'm lining this line up to six and a half because I know that's right and I'm lining this one up to the block the line in between and come on. So that block is perfectly straight, that line is perfectly straight and I'm lining this up over here and I'm hoping I've done this correctly and in theory I have got oh, love it when a plan comes together, an exactly six inch block. So I'm not sure where my ruler, where my vision is there. So you can see I'm 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So it's six inches that way. One, two, three, four, five, six inches that way. So if you're doing this and you want these blocks to be the same, even if you've made an error, it doesn't matter. Use this amazing Creative Grids um, squaring ruler trim them all down to six inches and you can then get that all perfect. So all your blocks are six inches and then you just, when you're putting them all together, it doesn't matter because if we just imagine these are all six inches, you just line them all up and go from there. So a really lovely set of products there. I'm pleased they're selling really well. So we've got, gosh, Sorry, I didn't realize they were going to sell quite so well. Um, these Creative Grids uh, non-slip scrappy rulers, we have eight left. So I can, and I'm, I, they're a great product. They really, really are. And there's unlimited options on how you can do it. And you'll really enjoy them. So if you are interested, don't hang about. There's only eight of them left. Go through that. And the rotating cutting mat, don't forget this because you can see it is so much easier and because these blocks are six and a half, you're very easily able to get them on the mat, you can rotate it round without any issue and it's just a lot safer for you doing them because I know I've seen you all do it, you've got your rotary cutter, you're cutting towards yourself and you're like, oh no, it's fine, whoops, I've lost a finger. Please be careful. This is, and for the price of it, it's a lot cheaper than putting your finger back on. So think of it that way. Really great products there. I'm pleased to hear that the basting spray coming out at 10 o'clock already in baskets and selling well. So please make sure if you are interested and you know the product, it's there. We don't have a huge amount of stock. So make sure you check those out. Shall we do this one again? Don't forget, just gonna touch this. Right, we've got the first bundle is what have we called this one? Jelly sweets. Don't they just look like sweeties? I love it. So we've got these and such a good price. I was stunned. These are two meters. So you're getting a half meter of each colorway. So this is a half a meter in the yellow. So you're getting four of these half meters for 13 pounds 96. And it's just such a great color. And I've been using these, th these four colors in the demo. So that's the yellow. I'm just going to slide that one out your way. I love that early bird, sorry. So you can just see, you've seen how much half a meter is and of course you know how good I am at my folding again. Look at that, look how clever I am. I'm just going to pretend it's the same. So we've got the yellow, we've got this beautiful pink. I think we're calling this pink or is it raspberry? I think it's called raspberry. We've got this lovely deep royal purple, really, really beautiful purple, and then this gorgeous turquoisey bluey teal color. And you can see how well they go together. Um, if you did want to have a little look in the how well they go together, I used these for this, and I used a little pop of um, one of the other fabric bundles there because I like to have a bit of a mixture and you can see when you lay these out if you put them in such a way you can create that secondary pattern which of course I'm now not doing uh, oh there we go but I, is that right yes so we got that funny little thing but it doesn't really matter because you can lay, lay them any way you like they're just such a lovely 
tonally accurate set of colours that work really well. And for thirteen ninety six for two metres of fabric, two metres of fabric for th 40, less than fourteen pounds. We all know how much fabric costs. That's a really really good deal. Really lovely colours. So enjoy those. And I'm doing these blue ones next. I love these blue ones. I think these are so cute. These are in half meter pieces, coming as a bundle. You've got four of them, and it's the Pepino Floral. Sorry, I keep putting everything in the wrong place. The Pepino Floral and Berry Bundle. And this is such a lovely way, a lovely spot. Get it on the overhead. The color may be slightly different, but the colors you saw on the, when it was pointing upright will be the right ones. You just get the detailing on the overhead. They're just so pretty. So you see what I mean? It's like little dots, but it's, it's just like a little, looking up at the stars, if you think. Like little frost bits that you get on the window when you're driving your car. Just a really sweet little design, that one. And again, right, so let's see. Third, 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 third. Oh, I might get this one day. So that's the first fabric you get. This is the second fabric. It's just such a beautiful blue. Really lovely, so lo lots of little berries and stalks, and I'm going the wrong way again. Pop that on the overhead and you can see the detailing on that. See what I mean, the, the detailing on it is so good. There's no bleeding into the white, so you know it's been printed well. It's just a lovely product. Hmm? So I'm trying to make sure I'm doing better at my folding. Gosh, I did really badly on that one. 30 seconds, sorry. I honestly do need someone from the warehouse to show me how to fold these because they always fold them so beautifully. Do you ever have that in your, own, in your own studio or your own sewing space where you unfold something that the shop folded for you which was so perfect, get it home and then you can't get anywhere near it. But look how fun that one is. They almost look a bit like fishes, don't they? Look sort of jellyfish. And then we can go to the overhead that you can see where we are. And I'm going to try it. Look at that. It's just really fun. And you can see when it's from the distance, you can't quite tell what it is. But here they're the lovely little branches with the little pods on them or leaves. They're really good. Right. Third. 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 I don't know if that's... Oh, look at this. Gosh, I can't even do that right. Oh, well. At least I can make you laugh. And these, unfortunately, are only available in the bundles, of the half-meter bundles. So these are four half-meters, two meters for £23.96. And they're really fresh. Yeah, they're really, really lovely. And you think for bags as well, just making, doing little bags or little girls' dresses. I'm sure these can be used for dresses little dress making things because they're really fun because if you look at that that's a lovely color but if you wanted to do, maybe do the collars in that it's like with what Angela Priestley did the other day when she was with us that worked really well with these the bit of pops of color and then we're going to show you the whole bundle together with my terrible folding this one's a bit better so there we go we've got the, all four of them together for you and I'll pop those on the overhead as well for you and that's all four half meters for £23.96. There we go. Can I go that way? I have to say with our skeleton crew we are doing our level best and poor Joe is working so hard in there bless him. So it's a lovely lovely bundle that so definitely something fresh that you can enjoy. So next we're going to do is our lovely spotty fabrics. So this is a bundle all together. Um, so you can see you've got this lovely royal blue, you've got a nice sky blue, you've got a grey dot, and then you've got this lovely navy dot as well. Also these are half metre pieces. And these are half metre pieces and the four half metre pieces are £14.96. So I'll just show you the dots because I think people always like to see the dots on them. 
even though sometimes they make the camera go a bit funny, don't they? So we'll check the overhead as well. Hmm? Oh, and this is a brand new bundle as well. So it's a lovely, nice little spotty dot. Really cute. And again, it's, it's such a nice price for it. Easily for dresses or for little bags. Um, that would work really, really well. Kids' clothing as well. They love a bit of a dot. So you've got the navy, you've got the grey, um, and then the lovely sky blue. And we've got, I think this one's called marine, which is a lovely colour as well. The only reason I know it's a lovely colour because it matches my shirt, so does the blue. So you know that I love it when it's got it on my, on my body that way. And you can see these two together, because you know I love buying my bundles together. Look at the synergy there. Don't they work well? Because this is, you know, that's such a nice combination there. You could make a lot out of those two. So if you do multi-buy them, they do come pre-cut. So if you are wanting to do the multi-buy, remember you're going to get these as half meter pieces. Um, I'm not sure if they can change that. You might want to call the call centre if they can. I don't think they can. So just be aware that if you do buy two of these bundles, they're not going to come as meter pieces. They'll come as two half meters. These ones, I'm so glad they're back. These ones we had on yesterday. Such a lovely, fresh bunch of fa fabric, these. Lovely little flowers. This is called the Black Swan Fabric Bundle, two meters for £27.96. And the great thing is, is there's so much metallic. There's not metallic in this specific one, but you can see you've got the hint of metallic with that lovely orangey color in the top. We're gonna go onto the overhead as well so I can show you the detailing on that. That just makes it easier for poor Joe. I know he's got to get his steps up, but not quite sure running across the studio is a good plan. So you can see that this is just a really fun fabric, that. Um, third, third, I've done this completely wrong again, haven't I? The second I stop doing everything, there we go, there we go. And I need to fold them so I can show them to you as a bundle again. And here we are with the black swans, and this has got a lot of metallic in it. And I love metallic, um, in my fabrics because you can they just give it that beautiful little bit of I, I want to say luxury because it just feels like there's a lot of luxury when you've got gold in it and I'm going to flop this round so you can see the swans the right way round after that one I can't remember which movie it was when they turned around and they said it's all about the swans I can't remember which movie that was now it was about planning a wedding and they all wanted lots of swans in their wedding So that's our second fabric on it. And these are really pretty. You've got this lovely feather with a beautiful bit of um, metallic running through the, fr through, the ah, through the feather. There we go. I've unplucked my tongue now. And we'll pop these round again the right way round. And you can see this beautiful gold. You can see this beautiful gold left on this fabric. And then we've got an orange feather as well, which I just think this, that adds that lovely, because I think each bundle needs to have a lot of contrast to be able to make it work well together. And they've definitely done well in this bundle. And then the last one is the orange. Should we just do that one on the overhead? Because you've seen how much fabric you're getting on those. Only because I'm being lazy and I don't want to fold it back up again, because I'm saving those warehouse, the warehouse folding all my nonsense up again. And you can see this beautiful detailing with the gold down the feather. It just is very, very pretty. And then that is your lovely bundle. So a half metre of each piece. I should have a little square here showing where I should be laying. It's just a really lovely, fun fabric set that. So for £27.96, half metre of each, so that's two metres of everything. Um, the next one was this one, wasn't it? The floral. So we'll see these as a bundle, and I can show you while we're doing that, I can pull these out. So if you did want to do the, scra the Creative Grids scrappy ruler, this is what it would look like. And you can see they really work well together. It's just a lovely, lovely combo of fabric there. And that yellow just gives it that vivacious pop. It's great. So we'll start with this one, which is really cute. Um, and it's got 
Oh, Cosmos. I was reading that as Cosmos. It's all about flowers. And that reminds me, in South Africa, we used to have acres of Cosmos fields. They were so beautiful. Makes me very homesick at this time of year. But you can see all these beautiful seed packets with all the different things on it. And they're brand new to Sewing Street. They're gorgeous. Look at the wildflowers, seeds. It's just got the... It says Cosmos, Cosmos, I'm always going to call it Cosmos, Wildflowers, Sunflower. It's just a really fun fabric. New to Sewing Street today, we like bringing you some lovely new stuff. And of course, it's only in the bundle by a company called Figo Fabrics. Well, we like them. They can come again. I have to say, as I said that, all I could hear was Figaro, Figaro. <laughs> And then this is another Figaro, Figo, Figo, I'm going to call them Figaro forever now. So these are really fun as well. You've got these nice, they look like watering cans and spades and not spades, the little vases. And then on the overhead, you'll be able to see them because sorry, I showed them to you upside down then. You can see the lovely little, the lovely little watering cans and vases and things. That's what I thought was a spade looking for it from the back, but it's obviously not. And then my favourite piece of fabric in this collection are these gorgeous flowers, absolutely lovely, from Figo Fabrics, again, I think. Before I get that wrong, let me double check. Yep, from Figo, more friendly known as Figaro. But look at that. So the great thing with this is, it's, if, you know, a lot of people I know can't really pick fabrics together. They struggle with them. And someone here has done all the hard work for you. You're able to get all the bundle ready for you. You just, it's ready to go. It's cut and chosen. And it's got such vite, vibrant colours and all the detailing on it. You can see the little dots behind it. It's really well done. And you kind of just imagine that those little dots are seeds waiting to grow up to be nice big flowers. If anybody wants to get in touch with us, don't forget we've got our Facebook pages, we've got Instagram, um, our Facebook page, we've got the official one run by Sewing Street, which is Sewing Street TV. Um, this is the yellow we've seen before, so I'm not going to keep this out for too long. Um, but this is just a nice little compliment um, with the, the bundle there. So if you haven't got us on Sewing Street TV, we've got the Sewing Street fans page. Um, and we're always checking those pages to see what you've got to say or stories to tell us. Or even the makes you're making. Vicky, Debbie and I are running a little competition every week. Sorry, I've got an itchy nose. Forgive me. Um, I had that yesterday as well, sorry. Um, we've got a little competition going, so anybody who wants to put in their makes, pop it on, and we're watching the page every day. And our favourite makes, we all pick three of them, and then we vote between us for the three that we like the most. And that comes out on Friday, so make sure you keep up with that. Um, and I think we've got, are we gonna, which one are we going to do? Riley Blake? Hmm? Wow, we have sold out of the Crazy Grid rulers. I'm not surprised, but well, um, they're gorgeous. They're really, really, really good. Well, congratulations if you've got your deal. Congrats. I'm sure we will speak to the buying team. I'm sure we'll get them in again. Fingers crossed at the same price, but enjoy your rulers. That's great. In the kitchen is that one, because of course I went and mixed the bundle up. So this again, we've got these fabulous four fat quarter bundle kits, and I'm not even going to attempt to fold these back up. <laughs> so this is $14.99 for four fat quarters. Now, most fat quarters, as you know, are um, uh, 22 inches by 20. These ones are 27 and a half inches by 19 and a half. So you can tell you're getting a little bit extra fabric and you're paying less than what most fat quarters are being charged for. So it's a really lovely, lovely combination here. Have I got these the right way? So I'm not sure. Do you want to do the overhead as well? Let's see if I can get all four right in the middle of the page. And you know I'm not going to get this right, but we're going to try. Yeah, I did almost get them right. There we go. So you can see this is the, the four different fabrics and then the little line in between. And that line is so subtle because I think this is a backing would be really fun as well. Something different to do for backing. Because it's a nice big chunk of fabric, this. And I'm not even sure I will be able to get this folded. 
nope, even that didn't help. <laughs> I have to send chocolates to the warehouse because they are having to refold everything that I attach at the show. So we're going to do this. Is this one next? I can't remember because I moved them around. F P U U in the harbour. C S U U. Perfect. I've got these lovely fat quarters again. It's called In the Harbour. Woo! <laughs> I'm not sure it works, but there we go. You can see they're just such lovely, lovely layouts of these. Really lovely combo of fabrics here. Now let's see if I can try and get this all on the overhead. Really works very well, doesn't it? But the oranges and the teals, and it's just this lovely subtle aqua colour here. It's really good. And the detailing on all these shells, it's very cleverly done. Really, really good. And there we go, and I'm going to try and fold it, but I'm not going to get it right. Oh, oh, hang on. Oh, I might have got it. No. <laughs> False alarm. Oh, actually, that's better than I've had it, but nowhere near what it should be. Better than what it's been. So have I got back in order now? F-P-U-U. I can't remember the name of this one, but it's really lovely. Copen Summer, I think that's like Copenhagen. This one's my favourite piece of them. And then I'll pop that on the overhead as well so you can see those. I think I'm getting better at putting this oh, almost in the right place. So you can just see the detailing on these, they're really good. And these are all exclusive to Sewing Street. You won't be able to find these anywhere else. Really great detailing. Look at the great big floral here. And the detailing still carries on into the tiny floral and the medium. And then you've still got these lovely little pops here. Of, they actually look a little bit like dots, but they're little flower heads. It's very cleverly done. So all these fat, quarter bundle, fat quarters that are in four, these are all 100% exclusive to Sewing Street. So make sure if you do want them, have a little look. We've got a nice combo of them, not just these. We can't bring them all to you every day. So have a check on the website and you'll be able to see them all there. Okay, that is a lot closer than I've gotten. That's a lot closer. And we got the Paisley Marmalade. Now we are going to run a little over this hour because my demo took a bit longer. So you won't be dead on 10 o'clock, bear with us. But I want to bring you all this lovely fabric. Swirls of happiness. All, all non-directional, you'll get them everywhere you like. But the colours are just so sweet and lovely. I think I folded this before because I can see that the lines don't line up. There are about eight different lines on it. I do feel bad you're all sitting there watching me fold. Apologies. We've all got to fold, so if anybody has any top tips on folding, please pop them on the Sewing Street fans page. I'd love to see them. Or if you want to do a little video of your worst folding experiences to make me feel a bit better, that would be fab. We love our pages, the social media, it's really a great way to interact with your customers, it's wonderful. And this one is called the Paisley Grove, these are four fat quarters, um, they are 27 and a half by 19 and a half inches, each of the fat quarters. Uh, they're $14.99, exclusive to Sewing Street, and just a really lovely combination of colours, they all just be beautifully blend together. I'm going to move that over a little bit so you can see them all. Gosh, they go well with my shirt. <laughs> Sorry, they go well with Andrew's shirt. <laughs> a 
And now we've got, and there's not a lot of them left, the Riley Blake. Oh, we're gonna do the teals first. Oh, aqua. These are so, so beautiful. Look at those. Just beautiful. Half a meter of each fabric. And these are the ones that I found that have got the tiny little kitty cats on. Can we zoom in on the kitty cat? these along as we go and while we're zoomed in so you can see there's the little kitty cat but on this one little balls of wool so you've got the kitty cats playing with the balls of wool and you can see this gorgeous metallic on this one they just work so well I'm glad I'm zooming in on these because you can see just how beautifully these all blend together and while I've got you there don't move away because you know I love buying group bundles just look how well they all go together the pink one's coming up next. That's not included in the graphic on the screen. So these are the four pink ones that aren't included. This is what's in, included in your screen. I just like showing you what you get if you can buy all of them. Because you, you know what it's like with fabric. Once it's gone, it's gone. And you'll always, when if you do buy these and then you think, oh, I need one more little bit. And you think, gosh, that gray might have worked really well. So we always regret the fabric we leave behind. And there's not a huge quantity of these left. They've been so, so popular. So this is half a meter. Um, you're getting half a meter of each piece. Um, we've zoomed in on these already, so you know what they look like. So that's the first one. Gosh, I'm getting much better on this folding thing. And then we've got this beautiful sort of herringbone chevrony um, design with all that gorgeous metallic on. Unfortunately, the camera doesn't show the metallic quite as well as it did on the overhead, but you can see how beautiful that is. And for binding, for binding, I think this would look beautiful for binding because it just gives you that little hint of interest and little pop of binding that you have. Because you only need half a meter for binding of most quilts. And there you go, you've got it ready to go for you. Then we've got our... Hmm? And buying this as a bundle, you're saving two pounds from the normal price of it. So can't go wrong with saving a bit more money. You've got these beautiful little balls of wool. Really cute, which you saw on the overhead, the fine detailing on them. But it's good to see the big scale of it all. Really lovely. How are we doing on our early bird? Because as many of you know, early bird catches the worm. We've got our lovely um, Guterman, Mool, Guterman bundle there, which we spoke about at the beginning of the show. I'll come back to after this. I just like knowing how we're doing. But look how metallic -y they are. They're almost alive. You just see them going meow. Gosh, on the early bird, half the stock is gone. Shall I do a very quick recap on the early bird? Or shall I keep with the fabric? I'll keep the fabric, do the fabric. So that's the aqua, and now we've got the pink. So I showed you the detailing on these before, we'll do a little quick recap on the detailing if that's all right. So I'll put these all together and then we can zoom right down and you can see where we are. Shall I move them? So if we can zoom down, you can see there's the little kitty cats again. You've got all this gorgeous metallic in this one as well. Lovely little balls of wool here. I'm going to slide these down to help the overhead. And then you've got your beautiful flowers. So you can see the little kitty cat nose there. This gorgeous metallic all the way there. And these beautiful balls of wool. It's just a lovely, lovely detailed fabric piece. So I'll start with the little balls of wool on this one. So there we get that one there, and now we've got our lovely little kitty cats over here. So while we're doing this, if you can't remember how, to, how you can purchase with us, you can go to sewingstreet.com. Failing that, you can call our UK-based call centre, and it's 0800 001 4433. I'm giving that a bit of a wave so you can see the pop of those beautiful cats and the metallic. It's really lovely. 
And if you've missed today's show or you're just joining us now and you want to catch up with us, I'll catch up with the show later, if you go onto YouTube and search Sewing Street, you'll be able to see all of the shows that we've been on from the very beginning. First show done on Valentine's Day. Very romantic, but it was good. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Sorry, that was half a sneeze. Give me 30 seconds. Sorry about that, a little bit of a sneezy funny thing there, I apologise. So there we've got a lovely metallic on that. Again, this for binding I think would be really lovely doing as a binding. Third, third, third and third. I'm getting better at this folding thing. And then lastly in this lovely bundle is the beautiful flowers. So this bundle, you get quarter a meter, you get half a meter of each fabric, and that is going to be twenty-five pounds ninety-six of those four beautiful pink Riley Blake Chloe and Friends fabrics. So look at you all, spoilt for choice with these amazing fabrics today. So I think that the one I've really loved today as well has been. I can pop my arm around here and get this wonderful Jelly Sweets bundle. Got this gorgeous yellow, the lovely raspberry and the purple and this beautiful turquoise colour. So those two, that is half a metre of each piece. Lovely solid plain fabrics for £13.96 for those four. Just a really, really good value, good quality product there. And you can see how well they go together. I've hidden my sample over here. You can see how beautifully well they go together as a combination. So if you have brought those scrappy fabrics, you can just see they're just very, very modern and they work really, really well. So after this, we've got our lovely basting spray. Very excited, it's been very popular already. And don't forget our early bird. We've got the Millwood storage box, 27 um, spool storage. We've got our five Gutemann threads, 100, in, 100 meters of the polyester. Really great quality, will be very good for your machine. Normally these are one pound 80, but you're getting these at a really good price. Next, we've got a short little break. You'll have a graphic, but no noise. And I'll be back with you in a few minutes. Thank you so much for your time. Bye-bye.
and welcome back. I'm John Cole Morgan. This is Sewing Street. If you haven't shopped with us before, our website is www.sewingstreet.com and we've got our UK-based call centre on 0800 001 4433. We are having a great second hour. Really, really thrilled with the fabrics we had from the first. We've got the fabulous early bird special, which is more than half sold out. So congratulations whenever you got that great deal. We have also got this incredible June Taylor quilt basting spray. Now I mentioned this very early on in our first hour and how much did you say it sold? A quarter of the stock has already sold out and I hadn't said a word about it. So everybody who's bought with us previously knows this is such a great product, really, really good quality. Basting spray is a must for everybody who's gonna do quilting on their home machines. The only thing I will say, health and safety and all that, gotta be in a ventilated room. If you do this outside, even better. All these fumes, we're just very conscious with people being, um, being safe and making sure that they're doing everything they can to stay as safe as possible. This, just use outside, use in an uh, open room. It's just that way that air's flowing and you're not gonna have any problems with that. Brand new to us, but the quality is exceptional. Really, really, really good. Um, oh, cover surfaces with paper. Uh, cover surfaces with paper to protect from overspray. When you're spraying it, if you've got anything on the side, just pop some paper down the side and it stops you doing that. I didn't even know that you had to do that. And the best is, it's got a little ball like it does with, with spray paint. So there's nothing long, you feel like you're doing something really industrial. And then you get it going. It's wonderful product, really, really good. $12.49, it's very good price. Everybody who's bought this before knows how good it is, which is why, without even having mentioned it, a quarter of the stock is gone. So if you are looking for some basting spray, you, the good thing with this as well, when, you, when you've got that little ball in, you can feel and hear how much you've got left. So really great product. Make sure if you are interested, it's not yours until you've checked out. But if that's not good enough, we have got a price comparison for you. Exactly the same product. And I'm just gonna zoom this out. This is available on Amazon at this exact moment. You can see amazon.co.uk, June Taylor basting spray, check it's the same, $17.99. Look at that, now that's free delivery and it says free delivery, but it's only free delivery if you've got Prime as far as I know but you've got this at $12.49, $12.49. So that is a good £5.50 saving on that. So basting spray, many of you would use it for quilting. Um, and what you would do then is you would have your layer of backing, you'd have your layer of wadding. So I have a, we're going to pretend that this is a piece of wadding. We're gonna pretend this is the back of your quilt. And I'm not going to pretend this is cut in half because I have a rotary cutter. So it is cut in half. <laughs> so this is the backing of your quilt. The first thing you would do is get that nice and flat with your iron. Then you've got your wadding. You put your wadding down. You check it's the right size. And I'm not going to spray it because obviously we're in a very small room here. Um, you take this, you get that little ball going. You spray an even amount on here. Now my top tip with basting spray is you try and get it about a foot and a half away from it and when you're spraying it it's like hairspray. If you put too much on it's going to go and if you put too little on it's going to go so you need to find that happy balance between the two. So you want your fabric to be tacky but if it's wet and you can't get your hand off it or it's sticky all that stickiness it's going in here. So you need to make sure you don't, whatever you're using this for, whether it be bag making or anything, you want to use just enough for it that it's tacky and it holds, but not too much that it's wet. So there's a lot in here. I've used one can, I think I've had it for three years. So you don't use a lot of them. I don't do that many quilts on my machine, but when I do, I use a lot of it in order, because I do enormous quilts. But what I would say is just practice first and do some bag making first and take your back, You've got your wadding or your interfacing. You press that down. I prefer to spray it onto the wadding, but that comes after practice. You learn which way you like to do it. So if you get it on the fabric or the wadding, you push that down. 
and you then smooth it out so I then try if I can if it's not too big to smooth it out in case you've got any ripples or bubbles and that way then you can feel that if it is quite gunky at that point I've done it before in the beginning when I started doing it it was quite wet at that point I was like mm, this isn't gonna work I took this put it in the washing machine all came off no problem started again using less you wasted a little bit of, of this but you'd rather waste a little bit of this than all that gunk going to your machine. And it's such a great product it, and such a cheap price. It doesn't really matter if you waste, waste too much of it. It's about being able to use it and what's comfortable for you. So once that's now, you can't feel wetness through your fabric, that's all done and dusted. You then put that back down on the floor get, or wherever you're laying it. And then you spray it on this side and you pop the top on. And you do exactly the same thing, don't get it too wet, and then you've got your pieces all together. We'll imagine that that's completely spray-based now and nothing's falling down. <laughs> so the good thing about using a spray is that you're able to get you're able to get down and be able to do it evenly. You're able to do it from high distances because normally if you're doing a quilt, it's a big product. It's a big piece that you're doing. So even a, even a 70 inch quilt, that's a big piece of fabric. By doing the spray, you can stand on top and go like that on the, and you've got that lovely, it just evenly goes onto your fabric and then when you've got it down you can evenly spread everything out It's just easier and then you've got the quilting clips um, We do have them on the website as well So if you are going to do that you pop the quilting clips through here and you just then add that extra bit of security So you don't end up with ripples in your quilt I've I've never had any damage from um, Quilting spray on any of my fabrics. So in my personal experience absolutely no damage from it They've been very well tested and especially the products if you are going to buy something I would suggest buying a product that's well known that you've seen everybody else use simply because um, They've been well tested and they're not only have they been well tested by the company They've been well tested by your friends and your family and your other people who use them Read the reviews on them and you'll be able to see that this is a good product. They're already checking out on the website already So if you are needing this Don't hang about it might go and we might not be able to get it back at the same price one PNP all day Make sure you get it now because if you haven't checked out, it's not yours. And it's quite difficult to source the June Taylor. I've not actually seen it before. Um, so yeah, give that a go. So now I am beyond excited because I get to play with the 680 Plus. Very, very exciting. So this machine is incredible. So let me give you, first of all, what you get. You get a huge amount of feet. So you get, oh, where's the walking foot gone? You get a walking foot and you get the darning foot as, and as if by magic thank you very much you get this fabulous walking foot which is normally 49 pounds on its own the walking foot then you so you've got the walking foot so the great thing with the walking foot is these are normally 49 pounds you also get this piece, which is called the adjustable um, free motion foot. Now, I've not used this before, but I do know that they sell for 49 pounds. That comes free with the machine. You get an, the array of all the feet you could possibly want or need, including the attachments for that. So the attachments for this foot are the crosshair. Um, I think it was that one. If I get it wrong, please don't be cross with me. But these are all in your amazing instruction book here. And it's really well worded, lots and lots of pictures. And the great thing about them, if I'm not mistaken, you also have an option of being able to get this online. Because like me, I put these in a lovely safe place. I can never find them ever again. So apologies for um, Hiding the manual somewhere really safe, but the great thing is is there's so many online resources available from Elna as well So that's a really good thing to do as well, but if that's not enough Look at this You get this incredible really sturdy extension table Oh, 
helps if I move everything out of the way when I try and put it on. This amazing extension table, which just improves. You've got this, you can leave this on all the time. Um, I'm on a funny little ledge there, so if I do that, there we go. And you can leave this on all the time, you don't need to take it off. And if you move it around, you can see I'm adjusting these little feet at the bottom here. You can see there, but there we go. And you get it nice and sturdy. And I think this one hasn't come down enough. Only because I'm on top of a rotary mat. And these are all inclusive in the price. But if that's not enough, as if you need more with all this amazing price, it is a five year warranty. The five year warranty normally, I don't know the exact price, but they vary between 150 and 300 pounds for the five year extended warranty. I don't know the full price on these, but various machines various, uh, vary at prices. But that is an amazing deal to be added on. And for the price of 1099, it is a lot of money. Don't think, um, but the stuff that you get with it, these are, this is a hundred pound of feet just on its own. They're coming free with the machine. I know when I bought my machine, I had to go and buy one of these and it was £49.99 or £49. So that's a really great deal with what you're getting. So over and above what you're getting normally, you're also, if I can do this with the tray on, you've also got the ability to lift your foot the extra height if you need it for when you're changing your stitch plate. So there are two stitch plates. This is your straight stitch plate over here. Um, and I'm trying to get my finger in the little hole there. So you can see that little hole there shows that it's a straight stitch plate. This one is for your zigzag stitching. So where are we there? You can see there's the, a, a sort of straight line versus your little single hole one over there. So this is your, this is your zigzag foot, uh, a zigzag plate, this is your straight stitch plate. And the great thing about this product is, whichever one you've got in, so let's do the straight stitch first. All you need to do to get it out is there's a little lever under here that you slide to the side and the sl it pops out. So whatever stitch you want to do now, because you've got this, this plate in, it won't let you use the wrong stitch. So that's what I like about the product as well, is that I make mistakes and I do the wrong thing occasionally, but when I've got the right, when I've got the plate in, it won't let me stitch on anything else. And the great thing as well is the extension table, you saw me adjusting the feet. I've moved everything around a little bit. It's a bit lower than where it was before. So if I do that there, if I do that there, you can see it just then adjusts perfectly to wherever you are. You just, it's just a turn of a few little buttons and it's a turn of a few little knobs and it's all sorted. The other great thing that you get, which most machines, some machines don't have, you've got the knee lifter. So the knee lifter slots in here. Unfortunately, given where I'm demonstrating this, I can't show that to you, but it slots in there. And you can use your, your leg to rotate, the, to act, act, activate the machine and to use it. And it's so much easier than using your foot for a lot of people. So that's really good. And I've just realized I've left this iron on. Before I set fire to the studio, I apologize. Felt a little bit of warmth there because I was using the iron earlier. And then, if that's not enough, you get this fabulous cover. So when you're not using the, the machine, or it just wants to go to sleep at night, you just put this fabulous cover on it. So you can see you've got this fabulous cover. And, if, like me, you keep losing your instruction manual, oh, you've got compartments, but I would rather fold it and have it there <laughs> because then I always know where it is. Oh my word, I've just had a message in and apparently John Scott, the amazing, fabulous John Scott, he has this machine. So there you go, you know that that's, if that's not an endorsement, what is there? A really lovely, lovely product. And the cover itself is really fun. The machine itself is really good. 
and the foot pedal, because for me, I like to know what my foot pedal looks like. It's one of them, which I love. And it's just such a nice, simple foot pedal, because sometimes they can be a little bit over complicated, and you've got to click your heels three times, do this, click that, but I hate those. This is easy, bloop, pop your foot down, sorted. I love those. It's got the needle threader as well, and I'm not even going to attempt to do that on live telly, because you know it's not going to go well. But these th needle threaders are fantastic. And it's a, I think the machine weighs 10 kilograms, so some people want to know the weight on them. And that is a reasonable weight, but equally, it's not really a machine that you would move around but if you do even though you've got the extension table in if you do top tip put your arm in there so you've got the additional support and then lift both with the arm under here and the top you spread the load to make it a bit safe but safer for you so that is a really but those are my top lovely reports on this fabulous machine and I played and I sewed all of these blocks last, yesterday on it. Where, where, are they're all hidden somewhere. Hang on, there they are. I sewed all of these yesterday on this block and it, on this machine, and it was so lovely to sew with. Really, really easy. So all of this was sewn on this machine. Really nice to use, and I learnt from. One of the guests, I think it was Suze, uh, Sally Stevens, she used this machine and she told me that if you press 06, it goes to the automatic position for your quarter inch seam. There are 91 different needle positions on this machine. Um, got 160 built in stitches, which includes how many buttonholes is that? 10 different buttonholes, which is great. But the thing I love the most about this is you've got all the different feet. I'm going to rotate the machine again so you can see. Hopefully you can see. All the feet live in here. So you can now take your, your F2 machine, uh, F2 um, foot, and you can pop it in there. All the feet are numbered and they just drop in. So I prefer using the A foot. So I'm going to put my A foot back on. When you're finished with your You've got this lovely tray that goes on here, which lives in here. And that just slots in there beautifully. Now, my favorite video I've ever seen is people put, or meme, people put chocolates or sweets there to treat themselves. But it just slots in so beautifully there, and everything is so neat to put everything away. And your stitch plate, when you finish using it, automatically lives in there. And then all these other little bits and bobs that you get with, they go in these lovely little packets that you want, that you get. And these are the little feet bit to go underneath there, these little, um, what do you call these, rubber, spl um, rubber splodgy bits. I'm going to call them rubber splodgy bits, they're definitely not called those. And you've got the wonderful quilter's guide. So when you're using a walking foot, you can do in cross hatching, that then guides you from where you're going. You get a huge amount with this machine and you get that amazing five-year warranty and all of them are included in this price. There are not many of these machines left and if we do bring this to you again it is unlikely to be with the with the warranty and you may not even be able to get it at that price because you know everything everything changes price-wise. So that gives you an idea of what you're getting with the machine. Now I'm going to do a little bit of stitching just to give you an idea of where we are. I don't even have to touch it. The feed dogs on it are brilliant. Needle automatically ends down and now perfect. And you just pull it away. So now I'm going to do something else I want to show you because we've got this fabulous stop start button. I've taken out the foot. There's our foot. Look, Bob, no hands. You just press start. And stop. Let's say you don't like going quite so fast. You rotate your speed um, slider over here to the slowest function. And you can see it's much safer than if you're working with kids. And then all you do is you get to the end. You press stop. You press your thread cutter. Lift your foot and it's all done. 
and the quality of the stitching is really good. It's got an automatic tension system over here on the top, so you've got a choice of, so if you were going to do free motion embroidery like we did with Alison Holt, you can then rotate this as you like. But normally most people leave it in the auto stitch because that way if you're doing a zigzag or you're doing a satin stitch, it'll automatically sort it out for you if anything's wrong. So the great way, um, right, what should I do next? Should I do the, some statin stitching? Because I didn't have it. Right, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a demo on this. If you do want to purchase this, you're going to get this on the website, sewingstreet.com. The product will come to you directly from Elna. But again, you're only paying the £3.95. So even if you've bought something else with us today, you will get the product delivered to your house from um, Elna itself. And that will come from the UK and be delivered directly to your house. It'll take between seven and ten days maximum. Um, just obviously where we are at the moment, things are changing. So we are trying to make sure that everything comes to you as quickly as possible. And just bear with us while we make it work. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to do some stitching using our not straight stitch foot. I've selected just to print, I'm going to print, not print, I'm going to stitch a couple of letters. And as I was about to set off, the machine told me that I had the wrong foot in, which is great. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to stitch one of the letters from the alphabet that that offers simply because I just wanted to show you how this worked. I've selected that. So the great thing about this is once you actually start doing any form of decorative stitches, it automatically locks your machine for you at the beginning. So if I did, I've got one more minute on this, I'll just do this very quickly. Uh, clear. So we're going to do. And I'm sure there's a quick way of doing this. I just haven't learnt that but yet. So next. And that's the great thing is, is that once you've got this, you can then just take it home and play with it and work out how you want to do everything. And that's the best thing about the machine. And the X, the manual is so good to learn how to do that, that you're able to then just read through the manual and go through pictures by pictures to be able to see exactly what they've got. And every single, if we can pop onto the overhead, I can show you what I mean. You, every single example that you could possibly have, you can see there's a little pocket there. Anything you could possibly want would be able to go and be done on that. And anything you possibly want to do is there for you to play with. Just a really, really fun, lovely machine. It's a very considered purchase, but I do think if that is something you're interested in, you're not going to be able to go wrong with that. And you can see I've just stitched with absolutely no stabilizer my name. My little name. Really, really cute machine. So definitely something to watch and look out for if you're interested. Great amount of deals and bargains that go with the machine. So there we go. We've had a message in from? From Mark. Hello, Mark. Also known as the Sewing Granddad. Hello. Nice to have you. He normally watches us on YouTube, but he's finally watching us live today. Well, it's lovely to have you. Thank you very much. Loving the channel. Oh, that's very kind. Well, we love having you here. Thank you very much for your support. Had another message in from Sylvia. Is that my Sylvia? That is my Sylvia. Hello, Sylvia. She's the lady who does all the binding. She's loving all my sound effects this morning. Lovely. Thank you so much, darling. I've got lots of quilts for you to bind when you're ready. <laughs> Oh, how lovely. And that's what I love about being able to do the Facebook and the, Insta the social media. People can get in contact with us and chat with us on air. And if you've got any questions, something that I haven't covered or something you want to know, now you know where we are. So we're going to start this wonderful combination from Tilda. It's called Apple Butter. And it's by the lovely company called Tilda. 
Um, I watched a little interview with Tilda the other day. She's been doing this for 20, 22 years, I think it was, or 27 years. I didn't realise she'd been going for quite so long, but that just shows because her, her talent and her skill in these, in these fabrics are incredible. So this is a bundle of, is it 10? They're 10 fat quarter bundles. Um, $31.99, can't go wrong on that price, really good price for good quality. Um, and they've got five of these designs, which is, I'm not quite sure what we'd call them, but they're really sweet. Pearls, and they're like, they're almost like, if you can imagine a window which has got those Christmassy um, lights that drop down. I'll put these the right way around so you can see them. But it's almost like a little carousel of lights coming all the way down. It's really cute. So this is the yellowy version. And then with that one, you've also got, so I'll show you the size of all the fat quarters because I don't want to unfold all of them. The warehouse will murder me. So this is the fat quarter size that you'll get for everything. Um, so they're all very well color coordinated. Even with these lines, you know I'm going to get it wrong. So it's just a quick showing you of these because we don't, um, we had them on yesterday. We don't, can't have them on every day, obviously. But you can see the combination of how well they work, where they've got the solid and the color and the pattern. It just works really, really well. And we haven't got very many of these left. So if you are interested, really please don't hang about. You know, I don't, I'm not messing around when I say there's not many left. So we've got that lovely blue as well. And then they put the coordinating blue with it as well. So you can see, I think showing them this way actually works really well. You can see the colours going together. But equally, they work very well with the yellow underneath. And then this one's my favourite on this one. You know I love a teal. You can see how beautiful that one is as well. But again, you can see now, even with those two colours, they're working really, really well together. And then we've got the lovely red... And then we've got the matching raspberry. I think we're calling this raspberry. I'm not sure what colour we call that, but it's really pretty. And then lastly, we've got the lovely apple butter greens. Well, I'm not sure whether it's apple butter, but it certainly makes you think of an apple, doesn't it? Apple a day keeps the doctor away. So there are really very, very few of those left. And I... Gosh, I've just got some updating news. If you're interested in the basting spray, there are less than 20 left. Don't hang about. And I think these are in, are there less than 10 of these? Yeah. There are less than 10 of these apple butter fat quarters. So if you are interested in them, don't hang about. There are 10. Um, I'm not going to, just going to, do you want me to pop these out? Mm -hmm. I'm not doing very well with this whole thing, sorry. And I'm going to pop that one back in here. I'll get there eventually. <laughs> Thank you for bearing with me. People will be saying, what did you watch on telly today? And it'll be John mess around with fabrics. So there we go, just so you can see how well they coordinate together. I don't want to be disingenuous and only show you half the collection. And then these are £31.99 for the 10 fat quarters there, so don't mess around with those. So what was next? Doesn't he look very comfy? We've got this amazing embroidered sloth um, sewing box. Get that out of the way. Really lovely little sewing box. I can see it's got a lovely clasp on it. Lovely little plastic interior. It's nice and sturdy. And you've got these Jellica things as well, which I love because you always keep those in everything to keep everything nice and dry. And it's just a really lovely, lovely product, this. Fun to look at. How can you not smile when you see this beautiful little embroidered sloth? Just looks so comfy with his little party hat on. I've just got this image of him sewing all day and being fed up now. No, nope, I'm going for a nap. We've all done it. We've all done it. So this is a really great product at the moment. $24.99. And we've had him on a, a once or twice before, but just look how fun and cute he is. And the little buttons, the little buttons there with the leaves coming out of. Very, very thoughtfully done. Lovely, lovely product. 
Gonna, shall I leave him up here for a little bit? Leave him up there. And then we've got our lovely, these ones I've named, they've all got little characters. He's inquisitive sloth, he's knitting sloth, and we've got Buddha sloth, and we've got party sloth. So that's the same sloth as this one, but just slightly different, in different colorway and a different box. But it's just a really fun product that you can see you've got your clasp in again. This one's slightly different because I did this one have the. Oh, they're both the same. I didn't show you. On this one, it's also got the pin holder and the pocket. Sorry, I forgot to show you that. But you've got the lovely little pocket where you can put bits and bobs in, your pin holder, and you've got the box here with the odd pin left in the bottom of it. We definitely use this one here. Does this have a plastic box? So this should have a little plastic box. We've put it somewhere nice and safe. I probably put it with all my um, sewing machine manuals and can't find it. So that's a really lovely, sweet little product. Also something to make you smile, keep you out of mischief with that. Uh, where's our leopard? Oh, there he is. So I'm going to pop this back in here. And we've got our... I've not seen this one before. Is this new? Well, it's new to me, that's for sure. I don't remember seeing this. This is such a cute leopard skin box. Really, really sweet. This one's $16.99. Um, you can't really tell because of the black background, but again, you've got your little pin cushion there. You've got your little pocket there as well. Nice little lace trim as well. You can see my... Can you see it on my finger there? You've got a nice little lace trim there as well. Also one of the little plastic insets. Lots of space in there. Little Jellica thing at the bottom as well. Medium leopard design sewing box. That is $16.99. So now we've got that. Oh, we've got our lovely fabric marker. And I know we have something in a box to show, but I did a test on this yesterday. Uh, what are we going to do it on? I'm going to do it on that one. Hopefully this will work, because it worked yesterday on a different fabric, but hopefully it'll work on this. So we have got the fabric marker. Water, oh, that's the fabric I used. Sorry, I'm going to use that one. We've got a water-soluble fabric marker. So immediately when I saw this, I thought, mm, OK. Most fabric markers are not intended for fabric. They really are not intended for fabric, because some of the pens, when they get cold again, when the, the ink gets cold again, it'll come back. So if you've ever marked out a quilt um, and then stitched on afterwards and it's gotten cold, the pen markings come back. So this product is to alleviate that. And what you do is you draw your line, as you would normally draw your line. I'm not sure, you're not going to see that, are you? There you go, you can see your line, okay? So now, and of course this is live telly, what could possibly go wrong? I'm just using a, this has got no chemicals in it, it's just a wet wipe that I use to take my slop off my face afterwards. And you can see, all you do is you rub on it with a little bit of water, and it's gone. So for my, I, I never use pens because the, the pen comes back. Now I can use a pen and it's not going to come back. So if you are interested in any of these products, this is how you're going to shop with us. We've got a slide coming up now with all of our details. Uh, we're trying to get it all on one slide for you. So you've got all of our website and our call centre number. Um, and here we go. Because some people forget where we are. The reason I did that was I wanted to double check that that had all come out and it really, really has. It's just so incredible that you can see that the, the ink has completely come out. You can see the little wet patch on the, pa on the thing there. You can see the wet patch, but the ink has gone out. I'm going to do this again just to double check because you never know, it might just be a fluke. So I've got the overhead there again. So this is just a normal, normal um, wet wipe. Oh my gosh, look at it, it really does work. I'm rubbing a little harder where my point touched at the very beginning. 
but it's gone. It's really gone. And this is not, it got soap or anything in it. It's just a normal wet wipe sorted. So this is, it does work, water soluble pen. And for crying out loud, it's two pounds 49. How can you go wrong with a product like that? Such a great product. Oh, I've got an announcement over the June Taylor. Where are we? We are very, very low on the June Taylor. So please make sure you have a little look at those. Um, and if you are interested, very, very low on that. Really nice product, that fabric pen. So the next one I'm going to recap of the fabrics is, was this one, wasn't it? What would we call these? The jelly sweets. So I love these jelly sweets because, sorry, I'm just finding my sample. I love them because they go really, really well together. You can see when you make them up in a block, they just naturally go beautifully together. Such a great price. Half a meter of each product, of each fabric. And we're looking at the fabrics that are in my hand, which is what is on the uh, screen at the moment. So you've got these half a meter of this product. Really lovely pinky raspberry color there. And then you've got your purple. It's just such a lovely color collection, this. I don't know who made it, but well done. Lovely, lovely purple here. It's popping up as a little bit blue on your screen, but the color you're seeing now is exactly what the color is. It's a bit odd because the, the cameras kind of change things every now and then, but it is just a really lovely color. And we've got the beautiful yellow. Tell me that doesn't just scream sunshine at you. It just scream sunshine. Now hopefully I'm going to get this right. Oh, improvement. Might not be right, but it's an improvement. And then my favorite again is this lovely tealy, turquoisey color. And again, these are half a meter of each piece, and that's £13.96 for all four pieces. And for that price, you know, most fabrics you're buying are £14 a meter. And here you're getting two meters for that price. And you can see just together, they work really, really well. What I've done is I've popped the blocks that I made out of the scrap quilt next to them so you can see how well they work together in different varieties. People have been loving these today, I'm not surprised. Such great value for a really great product. I want to pop those over here. So the next thing, oh I seem to have piled all my product up on top of each other, sorry about that. So now we've got the June Taylor cut and press mat. God, I love some June Taylor. So this is, first of all, let's start with a cutting mat. You've got the usual cutting mat, but the great thing about this is it's got such a lovely handle. So you can take it with you anywhere you want to go. It's a nice product that sometimes people want a slightly larger cutting mat on the back. This one's 12 inches by 18 on the back, only an Imperial. On two. So you can see there you've got um, 18 inches from there to there, and then 12 inches from here down to here. If I didn't do that in front of the mat, from there to there is 12 inches. And then you've got this lovely um, pressing mat. I was going to say ironing board, but it's not an ironing board. It's a portable ironing board. And the great thing is as well, you can use this for blocking as well if you need to for crochet and knitting. It's got that nice puffy um, fame on it foam on it. You don't need to worry about anything changing or discoloring because these have been tested and they'll be there for years. This is $49.99. Uh, really lovely cute product to take with you and like your rulers you can easily hang this on a wall nice and sturdy. It'll be fine. Really really cute product that. And I'm going to pop him back underneath my little sloth box. The 
so much on the shelf today. I keep putting things in the wrong place. So June Taylor's also brought us just an ironing and pressing board. Um, this one is now coming in now. This is a cushioned square and blocker. So this is mainly for um, pressing and for blocking of crochet and knitting. So if you had a piece of, of knitting, you would take that, you'd pop it in, and you'd put your pin in the corners. And you'd give it a little bit of a stretch to where you wanted it to be. So you can see I've distorted that a little bit that way. And what you would do then is you would take your iron, if you were doing proper blocking, you'd put your pins in at the right angle to make sure that it's the size you want it to be. And you'd blast it with some steam now. And then your knitting, you'd be able to leave it exactly like that, put it to one side or leave it, and it's then going to block out perfectly on this board which is a really great product to be able to have if you do knitting and crochet because most crocheting and knitting that you do, you do need to do a little bit of blocking on it. And what a wonderful way to be able to do it. So the next product I have is called the Clever Iron Finger, which is this one. Now I've not used this before, but I have seen it used before and it is very, very clever. I'm going to, oh, I can't take this out because it's got the staple in it. So what you do <clears throat> is you take your fabric, so we're just going to pretend this is a normal piece of fabric, and you fold it around the ironing, um, the, you fold that around there. So if you've got a seam, you've got a seam there to do, you fold that seam over this long end of your finger. So you can see you do that, then you can press your seam open on the seam because you can see that that's the little picture there. And then if you're doing your um, any form of um, what you call those linings or bags, you've got this little spatula in for the want of a better word. You use that and you can hold that out and you can push and iron at the same time to make that out. Because it's also a lot easier than putting your finger in there. And also if you're using it on your sewing machine, it's also a lot safer for your fingers to be able to use that. And it's just a really lovely, versatile product. Flattens the seams, flattens seams as well. So if you're doing that, you can take that out and press that down with your spatula end. I'm sure it's not called spatula end, but when you look at it like that, you can see exactly what I mean. With this end, you'll be able to then press your seams flat with that. Otherwise, you can roll it on there and very safely you can iron on that because it doesn't melt. Really lovely product there, $15.99. We got the roll and press as well today, which is lovely. I think I've got one of those over here. Nope, I don't. These are fabulous. They're really, really great. Foundation paper piecing, any form of blocks. All you do is you take that out. You can then press all your seams on it like that. This, the, this one I can take out, can't I? The other one I couldn't take out because it had a, a pin on it. But you can see now to press your seams, you're just going like that. And it is really a lovely, lovely product. And it's one of those ones that you'll have in your, your kit for years and you'll use a lot. And because it's such a great quality, you'll be able to use it a lot as well. Really lovely product, that one. That one is $15.99, the Clover Roll and Press. So the next one, oh, come on. This is lovely. I've not used one of these before, and I've got a piece of fabric just for it. This is a pair of pinking shears for anybody doing dressmaking fabric, um, obviously not for quilting, any form of dressmaking fabric. Really, really lovely product that you just go down and you just create these really lovely noises with it. Isn't that just a wonderful noise? So you've got your nice little pink edge, beautiful pink edge, really lovely pair, and it's a weighty pair of scissors. These are 23.5 millimeters long, so 9.25 inches, and they're $14.99. Such a great price, and what a lovely purple to use. It's got a lovely purple handle on it. So the good thing is, is when you pop it in with all your other scissors, You'll know exactly which one it is because it's got that lovely purple edge. Really lovely product there, $14.95. So the basting spray has done so, so well at the moment. Um, have we got many left of these? 
got less than 20 still. Really pleased with that. You've got the spray paint feel to it. Nice and easy pop off. The nozzle is lovely as well. And this is £12.49. It's for 284 grams. If you are going to use this, please make sure they've got the, all the windows open, well ventilated area, uh, or you do it outside. Just make sure that you're keeping safe and you're not spraying this in an in enclosed room. Lovely, lovely product which will be used for quilting, bag making. It's brand new to Sewing Street today. And I'm so pleased that we could able to get it in stock. And what a noise! I love it. Really, really exciting. Oh, I've just thought of something yesterday. Many of you may have seen my show from yesterday. We had extra wide backing on. Lovely, lovely. What was it called? Squig squiggly. Squiggly backing. And I really loved that green. It was a lovely apple green on it. So if you're looking for extra wide backing and some basting spray, have a check on our website. For those of you who haven't checked our website out before, shall I do that now? I'm going to go. And we've got a new pad and I still don't know how to use it. I've got a, there we go. So all you would do is you would create your page. You would type in there sewingstreet.com. You would have the wonderful, so if you're looking for anything particular, you would type in there. So anything of the June Taylor, you'd be able to get in there. Oh, wow, join our community and get a five pound off your first order. Oh, that's new. Gosh, that's really good. So you just enter your email address there and they'll email you through your, your voucher. That's really good. So over here you'll see whatever's on at the moment. That's our first current page. And then all the products from today's show are on here. And if you wanted to see more products, there's a little tab there that says products per page, which is universally set at 24. Um, so if you tap in there, you can make it 96. And that way then it'll save you going through more and more pages and you'll be able to see all the products on there. So have a check out on our website, and I didn't even know about that five pound deal. So if you haven't signed up with us before, five pound off your first order. Tomorrow, what we're we doing tomorrow? We've got fabric and panels, and we've got the Elna 720 Pro. And that is with the wonderful Debbie. I'm so glad Debbie's coming in, because I'm gonna have a lie-in. Can't wait, can't wait. Love doing this, but it'd be nice to have a little lie-in. So everybody out there, please keep in touch with us via social media. Make sure you check out our what's left of our early bird. Don't forget we got those on. Basting sprays are doing really well. And it's just been such a great show. Yesterday's show is on next. So if you are looking for anything else, check us out on YouTube. Stay in touch on our social media. Instagram is at Sewing Street. We've got the Sewing Street TV on Facebook and the Sewing Street fans page on Facebook as well. Um, what a lovely show. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, not quite sure what else to say on all these. You have a great day. Stay safe and thank you for joining us. Thank you for your time.